Welcome back. In the last video, you have seen on how to install the Blaze login system, and you were able to try to use these features of the register and login. And in this video, I'm going to show you the file structure, and I'm going to show you what uh, happens behind the scenes and on how this authentication system works. Without further ado, let's jump to my code editor, and I'm going to show you each and everything that you need for this authentication to work. I'm going to go in my code editor and I'm going to start with the routes. When you go to the routes and you go to the web, it will create a, another route and it will require this dir and to require this file that is called auth.php. We will see on what that do. And after this, you can see that there will be another route that is uh, the uh, route to the dashboard and it is the exact location that we are on here when we are successfully logged in. When you try to log in, for example, let me try to log in by using the credentials that we, uh, that we, we, we created uh, so to see them. Uh, I think I remember the password, but the username is a problem. So let me try to to log in all right this was my, now my uh, my username uh, or my email so I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to put my password like this one and once I am successfully logged in you can see that the path to where I am now is the dashboard and it is the exact same path that we are having in here. This is now the first route that we are having in here. And I, the thing that will change in here to add this, okay? That will be the first thing that will be added in this uh, project. And moving on, when while we are still in the routes, I was talking about this auth.php. This is now the file that contain uh, these things. It contains many things. It contains the route to register, the route to login, to forgot password, to reset password, to verify email, to confirm password, and to the logout. You have to take a closer look to this because it contains these, um, these methods that will help us to control our form by when logging in. You can see that it was also uh, able to use some of the controllers. For example, it was able to use this app HTTP controllers, a auth, and it was uh, able to use this authenticated session controller, confirmable password controller, and all other controllers. I was uh, talking about controllers, so let's jump to the controllers and see what's in there too. When you go to the app, HTTP, and then controllers, and you see there is there will be another folder that will be created that is called auth. I'm going to go ahead and click on auth and inside the auth there will be all the methods that we were seeing in here that we, um, those are the files that will be used the way we are using this auth from the routes so let's go and see for example authenticated session controller you can see that there will be a lot of methods in here you can see that there will be this return view uh, that will show us the login so we return this uh, store the, the authenticate the session general generate and the redirect and to redirect to this uh, home i will show you that in a bit all right when you try to check for the other files you can see that there will be other working parameters in there and there will be also uh, one way to check for the routes on where these files are located for example i may say that i want to know the exact route on where the logout is so to do that, I'm going to open my uh, my my command prompt again. For example, in here, and write PHP artisan, and I'm going to put R for the route and for the R R for the list. And when you when you go ahead and press enter and wait for a bit, you will see that there will be everything regarding the route that we will be having on our uh, system or our login system. Consider that there will be the load for the login. On where you can see the bit, it will be on authenticated session controller on create. It will be a create method. For example, for the logout, it will be like a destroy method. 
and for the other things that you can uh, need you can come in here and take a closer look and you can see exactly where you can find the controllers and the methods that control the thing all right i hope you got that one so you're going to talk about the views again for example, when you come here, you can see that uh, there will be this uh, this dashboard itself. There will be this logout. When you go to logout, logout there will be this login. There will be for this forgot password. There will be for the register in here. Those are the views that you will be having on our system. As we are using the blade syntax, you can navigate to the views and you will see all these views uh, in particular and to be able to see on where they are located. When you go to the resources and go to views and uh, as we are having uh, the another auth folder uh, that we are targeting to when we are trying to do the routes, I'm going to go in the auth and this is where all the files are contained. Consider that it will be for the login page, it will be some HTML and some of the forms that you can use to collect some data regarding the login. There will be for the register to be used for when you want to uh, register our new user and some of the message that will be displayed on the screen you can customize this according to your need but you will need to include some assets that you're getting this form in your assets folder we'll see that as we'll be moving on and there will be for this reset password and for the verify email those are now pretty much the uh, the fields or, or the file that we need to control our form you can change any file in here accordingly regarding what you need to do all right that was it for the views so let's go back to the controller and try to see now the uh, controller that is called the registered user because it is super important i'm going to do go in the controller auth and i'm going to go to the registered user control and when you take a closer look, you will see that there will be a lot of parameters in here. You can see that there will be this function for the create and to return the view as the register. But when you take a closer look to this store function, you can see that there will be a lot of things in here. This is now uh, this is now where the magic happens. You can see that it was able to collect the name and to be able to validate this. It will be a required field. It will be a string. And to have the maximum of two uh, five five characters long and there will be for the email it is required and for for it will be a string it will be an email and to have this maximum and it will be unique when you say it will be unique to mean that there will be no duplicates to that email when you try to insert some uh, the same email again it will try to it will try to, to restrict you to use that email as it will be taken and there will be for the password, it will be required for it, it will need to be confirmed because we will have to put two fields in there and it will have the rules for the password as these defaults on where it will be stored in the rules, right? So, uh, and when you take a closer look to uh, the user, you see that you will use that method of the create that we are seeing on here where we are trying to, uh, to see on the uh, register here. I see that the method will be create and to retry to to you to make this request request for name for email and for the hat for the password to make to try try to to hash it to hash it it will, it will be needing to hash our password so as to never be visible in the plain text so as to ensure that our security level is to the maximum for example when you take a closer look to the password in your database it will look like this one it will be like a gibberish uh, text uh, but in this case we, in, we will be sure that our password is secure as it will be hashed and no one can guess it right away all right so and we will to uh, after doing this there will be another 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 important thing that you have to put in consideration and that is what that is why we call event and what this event will do to try to to trigger this registered user and to try to redirect to the home and i will show you the where the home is located and on how you can change it when you need to and this event is specific to what you call providers and when you take a closer look to your files there will be where it's written providers when you go to the providers you see that there will be a lot of files in here 
but the one that we will need to target is what you call event service provider dot php i'm going to click on this file and there will be a lot of uh, information in here but when you take a closer look you see that there will be uh, there, will, there will be this uh, send email notification all right and you see i can say that it was able to target to the registered and to send the uh, notification email all right so i was talking about the home on where you can land and that that will be now in the controllers again when you do go back to the controllers and you take it to what you call authenticated uh, session controller you will see that there will be this redirect so let's see you will see that there will be this redirect in here and this redirect to, to uh, target this route service provider and to it be a home all right so and uh this route provider it will be like look this loud service provider it will be located on providers and loud service provider i'm going to click on there and i will see exactly on what we will need when you take a closer look you will see that there will be this public const home this is now the home that we are targeting the whole time and to target to a slash dashboard you can change this according to the specific home that you will need and you can do, do that in uh, some tweaks that you can make on your dashboard on your form and other things that you will need so you can come and call it uh, by using this public constant as a home all right i hope you got that one so uh, when you take a closer look again when you are logged in so let's try to log in again by using the email the specific email that we created and the it's appropriate password consider that i am having this dashboard i can change some of the dashboard for example to display the name here on who is logged in by like it is on here so i'm going to go and the views as you will be uh, needing the views i'm going to Cross these providers i'm going to go to the views again i'm going to go to the uh or to the dashboard not blade.php and you check when you take a closer look you will see that there will be uh, this information and sometimes we need to show the name of someone who is logged in so i'm going to use the blade syntax and i'm going to proceed like this one for example i can say uh, hello this is now the custom message that you can uh that you can add i can say for example hello and i'm going to put in some of the user who is logged in and i will do that by using the auth and after the auth i'm going to target the user after targeting the user i'm going to target the name all right so i'm going to give this a save and try to refresh you can see that it will be able to call my name as it will be the registered name uh, i'm going to go ahead and add some comma so as to make it uh, realistic and you can also call the email for example after saying hello this uh, i can say your email is and i'm going to put the same braid syntax i'm going to copy this and paste it in here and in this case i'm going to target the email all right i'm going to target the email like this one when you take a, you take a closer look and the refresh i can see that hello han media your email is hanmedia at gmail.com all right i hope you have seen now on how the files are arranged while using this blaze authentication system and uh, i hope you get uh, some of the points that are very important i don't want to make some boring videos that are long that's why i'm going to stop by here we continue with the uh, part three of this video on where we will see on how to use the email authentication or the email confirmation so from now on till next time i will see you guys in the next one i will keep you posted so practice along and posting in the comments uh, on the problem that you may be facing i will be here to help you so ciao ciao i will see you in the next one